How's it going folks and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a little different. Uh, after a trip me and my young fellow went on, I decided to show you guys how I make my rabbit slips. Now here in Newfoundland, we're only allowed to use this 22 gauge brass or this six strand braided wire. This here, stainless steel, no longer allowed to use. <clears throat> they, uh, I still keep it in my backpack mainly for emergency uses. <clears throat> One time I broke a ski on my skidoo in the country and I laced my ski back together to my ski skin with this stuff. It got me back. So this stuff here, I actually bought, stuff, bought some stuff for that weekend that me and the young fella went and it cost me seven something plus tax for a small roll of this at Canadian Tire because I couldn't find my stash of wire. This here, I don't have the price tag on it, but there is there was a price tag on this one. It was a dollar forty nine. So it's gone up a lot. So guys these rolls usually comes in fifteen foot rolls. As I seen you can get the one pound rolls, like the good old fashioned rolls we skip with stainless steel. Um, 60 bucks, I think it was for the one pound roll. So that's, that's, that's a, a lot of money. So I like to make my eye really small. And I'll show you how small. A few reasons for that. You see this, this little excess left here. Instead of using a tool to crimp that, I always go to work and clip it off. That way you don't use no pliers or nothing and you'll end up marking the brass. And you'll likely break, when a rabbit gets in it, it'll break at that mark and you lose a rabbit. Uh, just to show you how small this hole is, this is a pencil. I don't know if that way you can see that, but I also makes my wrap as short as possible. And I'll show you why I do that a little later on. <clears throat> I'll go to work then, I'll grab the wire with my fingers almost to my iron pit, close to, and that's my first slip. Now I'll keep this slip and I'll go by this slip every time and I'll show you what I mean. So I'll go to work and make my next eye again keeping everything short and everything small. This is my original. Stay on my original because if you keep going off your next one, your next one, your next one, when you're finished, you will have a shorter slip than the rest. And I'll show you another trick I do. So I go off my original. Keep my original and make the next one. So now after you get 10 or 12 slips made, it's hard to keep track of the original because they're all the same color. So what I have done is where I can't use this stainless steel in the woods no more. This here is my mold slip, I guess you can call it. So I'll have this one hanging on a nail on my desk. This ain't my desk for rabbits. On my desk, I'll have that on the nail and I'll take my new slip as I'm making them hook them on a nail eye to eye, pull it out and cut it. Make the next eye, put it along with this one here, cut it. Call it a master slip, I guess. You can also do it with a piece of wood. Now this slip, I like to make my slips, like I said, almost to my armpit. 
and we'll measure it just to see, just to give you an idea. You don't have to make your slips of this, but I like a little bit extra because I like to tie enough to tie onto the stick that I'm. Uh, <clears throat> Twenty five inches. Now the reason why I make this so short is because a rabbit's neck is roughly two fingers of my two fingers anyway. So when this cinches down, if this is short. It'll cinch down that small. Whereas, if you make one with a big eye, and twist it down a long ways, Also, if you leave this sticking out, I usually cut that off. What happens then is it makes this more rigid and a bigger opening when it closes so you'll likely get more rabbits alive in your slip they'll likely suffer <clears throat> right so you want to keep this hair short as short as possible that way the rabbit you'll dispatch the rabbit as fast as possible quick clean kill so guys, this is the six strand braided wire. I, I don't like this stuff so much, but it is a lot easier to work with. But I'm not, I'm not a fan. I, I still use it. Just I use the brass more. But it's easier to work with. Uh, you can tidy it up right nice with your fingers. And go ahead and measure it. I like this probably a little bit longer too because uh, you sort of need to tie it on a bit better on the tree. But uh, it's pretty good. It don't shine up so so much, say on a moonlit night when the rabbits are definitely running. The brass shines up really bright. This not so much. So that's that's a good thing I guess. Uh, but it do I find it do break easy, especially over time. I find this here. Rosses out, I guess. Crawls out. Rosses out. So, yeah. We'll use that too. So, guys, at the end of it, when you get your slips all done, you're usually left with a little bit of water that you can't make a slip out of. What I like to do is draw my slips I got made up, tie them together, hold them all together, throw them in the backpack. Good to go. So, I've been at this. Pretty much my whole life since I was knee high to grass average, just like the young fella there. And through lots of trial and error, I think I got it down pretty good. I lose very little rabbits, got very little strung out. But I'm always up for learning new things. So if you guys got any questions or comments or anything else, go ahead and leave it down below. And I'll get back to you and I'll entertain some good tips from you guys. Definitely. Every day is a school day, I always say. So thanks for following along. Uh, if you like what you've seen in this video, go ahead, like, hit the like button, subscribe. Check out the last video of me and the young fella telling some slips. You might learn a few things from there or just enjoy the video. You guys have a great day and keep strain iron. Thanks again.